in the all virtual in the all virtual world we got to stop and take a break but let's go so this morning we have design challenge division awards and build challenge contest announcements and we're so excited that so many of you have joined us for that we hope then you'll head straight over to career connections with your resume to talk to four floors of attendees in the Remo app again. And this time you're turning it around and questioning our jurors, industry partners, and other amazing colleagues who are so excited to talk to you. Following that, we'll close out Remo and join back together at 1 p.m. Eastern for the grand juror presentation. That'll be, that'll be followed followed by Build Challenge contest announcements and grand winner announcements by the Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm. And then we'll close out with the Build Challenge overall winner. We hope you'll join us for a very exciting pack day today. Now, the moment you all have been waiting for. Drum roll, please. The 2021 Design Challenge Event Awards. I know I heard a drum roll on your computer over there. All right, I'd like you to take a minute and think back, build challenge or design challenge students, where you started. Just a few students meeting virtually, maybe a couple of emails. And now look at the final project you presented this weekend. And I hope you congratulate yourselves on how far you've come. It is so impressive. As you've seen, the building industry is complex. Providing zero energy solutions with thoughtful design is not an easy task. You inspire the industry with your innovative approaches to wide variety of building types, climate zones, and target markets. I think the specialized expert jury for each division agrees. So I hope you'll use this experience to launch your career in the buildings industry. Continue to foster the relationships you have with peers and industry professionals. So now we will announce the first place, second place and third place winners in each division and virtually present our lovely trophies that you've been waiting for. We're really excited. These trophies have been made by a local Colorado artist. So let's get started. Take a deep breath. So we're gonna start with suburban single family. Across the board, the jury had a hard time, uh, but notably so here. The third place winner in suburban single family developed excellent renderings and floor plans, employed a continuous air and weather barrier in their design, and proposed a design so thorough the jurors knew it could be built. Join me in congratulating Appalachian State University. Great job, Appalachian State. Congratulations on getting our first award of the day. The second place winner in suburban single family employed smart automation, integrated polished concrete into their design for durability and selected a catchy tagline that resonated with the jury. Let's celebrate Missouri University of Science and Technology. Congratulations. The first place winner in suburban single family. So exciting. Here's our first place, first first place winner provided a thorough HVAC system analysis delivered an excellent presentation to the jury and incorporated Native American thoughts into their design. Congratulations, Ferris State University in Michigan. I hope if you are celebrating right now that you can take a moment to share your celebrations in the Whova app with us. Since we can't see you, I miss you all. I miss you clapping and walking up and high fiving your teammates. So um, if you're getting an award today, please share that moment with us or share it via so social media. All right, 
Now into urban single family. The third place team in urban single family employed passive house principles, developed a complete design package and used low embodied carbon materials such as cross laminated timber. Let's celebrate Ball State University. Great job, Ball State. The second place team in Urban Single Family shared a great narrative of their building science. Invented insulation. Wow. Developed accessory dwelling units for an underserved population. Congratulations to the Urban Single Family team at the University of Arizona. All right, and our next first place team. In urban single family, the first place team excelled in building science, addressed all the competition key elements, and incorporated a unique interior moss living wall. Bravo to team Ingenuity from Illinois at Northwestern University. Hardware is almost too big to fit in the screen. Congratulations to all of the urban single family housing teams. You have done a great job. So proud of you all. All right, now we're going to move into attached housing. This division was hard from the start. Your reviewers had a hard time selecting finalists and it was very competitive from the very beginning. The team in third place excelled at working with a community partner, considered long-term maintenance for the staff at the building, and included the idea of social resilience in their design. Congratulations, Team SafeLink from Monash University in Australia. Great job, and I love your team photo. The second place team in attached housing talked with the future residents about their attached housing units, exhibited a strong understanding of using thermal mass effectively in a hot, humid climate, and created their own sensor network with a custom app. Let's celebrate Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. Great job. All right, the first place team impressed the jurors with the animations in their presentation, approached affordability through sensible design and revitalized local neighborhoods in a way inspired by Jane Jacobs herself. Great job team Electric Jane from Marywood University. hear you celebrating through the camera. I'm so excited for all these teams. Congratulations to all the teams in attached housing. All right, I think I need a break. Got my solo decathlon hat on, putting my shades on to take my break. So let's take a break and walk over to the sunny virtual village with build challenge. Joe? Thanks, Rachel. It's great to hear of all that success of all of your design challenge teams. Well, we're actually done with construction, so I think I'll take off these glasses, but I'm really excited today to announce two more of our contests for the Build Challenge. For those of you just tuning in, the Build Challenge is made up of 10 independent contests that are each worth 100 points. Unlike the Design Challenge, the team with the most points wins, and each jury independently reviews and scores the team. So teams earn points continuously throughout the competition. I'm here today to announce 
two more of those contest awards. The first is the presentation contest. In this contest, teams are evaluated for their ability to accurately and effectively convey their design, their project, and their energy performance strategy to relevant audiences, their local market, builders, professionals, their peers, anyone who would listen or who should care. How did they tell their story and did they do it well? So in third place, the jury liked this team's community outreach to local contractors, outreach to local news, to town council and more. They researched the community to understand what was important and the jury liked that the team collected data and used that data as the basis of their plan. Coming in third place for the presentation contest, the University of Colorado Boulder. Congratulations. In second place, this team impressed the jury by emphasizing why features of the house were important, not just what they were. The house tour and the owner's manual stood out and the proof was in the pudding. The house got 13 full price offers. They told their story well and people understood why this house had value, the project had value. In first place or in second place for presentation, Weber State University, congratulations. And in first place, the presentation jury really liked this team's website. It was really impressive, educational, and interactive. The team identified a focus and delivered on it by making a great case for the importance of their house to veterans. The jury was impressed with how the team linked symptoms and told the story of why this matters and how it fit the healing aspects of the house. Coming in first place for presentation, University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Congratulations. With that, I'm excited to turn it back to Rachel to announce a few more Design Challenge Awards. Rachel? Hi, Joe, thanks. All right. We are now into the mixed use multi-family division. This division has up to 20% retail and then um, um, multi-family units. All right. The third place winner differentiated themselves with beautiful architecture, employed natural ventilation and thoughtfully integrated SIPS panels. Congrats to the small but mighty team at the University of Missouri. The second place team displayed excellent synergy within their team, shared their passion with the jury while answering their questions and justified the use of wood-based products in their design. Great job, University of Arizona with the Barrio Oeste project. The first place team in mixed use multifamily thoroughly considered the building's climate, constructed their design with locally sourced and reuse materials and presented an engaging walkthrough with the life in the day of a tenant and excelled at answering the jury's question. Great job, third quadrant design from the University of British Columbia. I just love the cheering. It feels like we're there in real life. Congratulations to all of the mixed use multifamily teams. You did a great job. All right, on to our next division, elementary school. This is a great division that includes a lot of community engage engagement and we love to see that. The third place winner was labeled by the jurors as a well-grounded project. Located their project at a brownfield site and focused 
on urban revitalization with an understanding of the community. Congrats to the winner, third place winner in, mixed, in elementary school, Ball State University. The second place winner in elementary school exhibited expertise in building science, developed smart solutions to energy efficiency, and took on a challenging problem with a retrofit. Let's celebrate Team Regen from Ryerson University. The first place winner in elementary school organized their submission and presentation in an easy to read format for the jurors, integrated the elementary school into the surrounding residential community and incorporated architecture that reflected mm -hmm. the Montessori curriculum. Congratulations, University of Oregon. <laughs> Great. I hope our first place teams are thinking about getting ready for their presentation this afternoon. Congratulations to all of the elementary school winners. Our next commercial division is office building. A lot of really unique designs here this year. The third place winner in office building ex executed a strong market analysis incorporated a daycare center into their office building and completed a long-term analysis of the site for climate and flooding and natural changes. Let's celebrate the team at Harvard University. Good job. The second place team in office building investigated the life cycle of water at their building, installed windows to see the inside of the HVAC and water system, and exhibited excellent understanding of the structural system. Great job, Team Elevate of Ryerson University. Congratulations. And the first place winner, in the office building division, crafted a team with diverse talents, including video production. Hit the HVAC system out of the park, according to the jurors, and executed an urban infill project with a historic renovation. Congrats to the unstoppable Virginia Tech and Washington Alexandria Architecture, Architecture Center. Great job. And congratulations to all of the office building division finalists. You did a great job and our jurors really enjoyed your presentation. And for our final division, we have retail. This is, was a new division this year and um, really brought some interesting designs to the design challenge. The third place winner, in the retail division, turned retail into an exciting place to spend time at. Developed replicable, replicable and scalable strategies for achieving net zero and displayed original thinking at a brownfield site. In third place in the retail division, the team at Satya Obama Institute of Science and Technology. Congratulations. The second place winner in retail inspired the jurors with their design, reimagined retail space to be socially equitable and transformed a traditionally corporate space into a community endeavor. I congratulate the North Philly Peace Park Project at Thomas Jefferson University.
Can't wait to send these trophies to you. All right, and our last first place winner, this first place winner stepped into a new realm to redefine the retail space, provided program opportunities beyond simple retail, and layered passive and active design solutions that helped to create variety in the space. The winner of the retail division is Illinois Institute of Technology. Congratulations, and congratulations to all of the Design Challenge team. Your hard work and dedication has truly paid off. Please take a minute to celebrate your accomplishments and congratulate your teammates. First place teams, please check your mailbox to, for instructions for the upcoming grand jury presentation. With that, I'll turn it over to you, Joe. Thanks so much, Rachel. I'm excited now to talk about the Resilience Contest. This contest evaluates the building's ability to withstand and recover from prevailing disaster risks for its intended location, maintain critical operations during grid disruptions that commonly occur post disasters to help ensure long-term durability in response to local climatic conditions. In third place, the jury appreciated this team's thorough and technical presentation and the full hazard assessment really impressed them. Their design uses pine tar sealant to increase the longevity of the building and the features an all electric design with cold climate heat pumps that are beneficial to resilience at high altitude. Coming in third place for resilience, the University of Colorado Boulder. In second place, this team impressed the resilience jury with its equity and access considerations throughout their design and construction process. They worked directly with community and other stakeholders to identify the resiliency needs of the homeowner to make sure that it will be used in a lasting and reliable manner. The jury loved the team's cost benefit analysis of which resilience measures to take and commented on the house's impressive ability to hold temperature within comfortable tolerances for 48 hours during a power outage. Coming in second place for resilience, the University of Waterloo. Congratulations. And in first place, this team went above and beyond hazard requirements with the way they addressed community and social issues. The jury appreciated the team's community engagement on the design process and their clear analysis of hazards. The team had a very innovative approach for how to use gray water to provide fire mitigation, which impressed the jury. And overall, the project provided solutions that enhanced the resilience of this home. Coming in first place for resilience from Chile, Casa Phoenix. Congratulations. That concludes our award sessions for now. But now we're very excited to transition all of our teams into career connections. We have several dozen industry professionals who are here and ready to have conversations with you about career goals, about structures, about futures for education, where you think the world is going, whatever you'd like to discuss, hear their story, tell your story, drop a resume. I know you all enjoyed the Remo platform yesterday for our all team project showcase. And that's where this will be taking place again for career connections. Please spend the next hour thinking about your future, networking, and spending time with some of the judges, industry experts, sponsors, and other partners who help make this event and your future careers successful. For those of you who are first place teams in the Design Challenge Division, you're going to be receiving an email with an invitation to meet with Rachel for what comes next. As you may remember, you now get to give an eight minute presentation to a grand jury occurring in just about one hour. There's a lot to do between now and then, so please look for that email, meet Rachel. Everyone else to go to Career Connections, visit Remo. I believe we're putting a link in the chat. Explore around the space. We know sometimes it can take a little bit to get connected to this new platform, but trust me, once you're on, 
it's really enjoyable. We have so many industry experts who are ready to talk with you. Please join, it only works if you're there. Our award ceremony, joined by the Department of Energy Secretary Granholm, will begin at 1 p.m. Eastern time. To close, we are pleased to share this building science video with you from Eric Whirling with the Department of Energy. It's unique to the Solidicathlon. We hope you enjoy this and please look for the chat with the link in this webinar so that you can join us on Remo for the career connections. If you are a first place team, find that email and start thinking about how you're gonna tell your story to the grand jury. Thanks everyone. So while we wait for the video, I just wanna say congratulations again. Everyone's able to just work through this adversary, work through things that are uncertain, to come up with designs. I saw so many renovations and retrofits, thinking about how housing can be used in ways that are different than it has been before. How do you prioritize indoor air quality? How do you prioritize the use of HVAC in multifamily buildings? How do you integrate a desk? What does space mean to you? All of these different areas are very exciting as we think about the future of housing. Thanks for sharing this vision. We need the help of every hand. So I'm asking you this question. How do we get to zero? Building science holds the answer. This much I know up every building if and when we make up our minds and it starts right here at home yeah with a clean efficient design so the DOE holds a competition virtual on the DC mall Settle down, it'll all be clear You're all winners in this hall Oh, you move me so Young people with the will to grow Show us how to get the zero in the solar decathlon show. In the solar decathlon show. This isn't easy, now you know. Up all night in the studio. Then it hits you from behind Like a hit of sweet sunshine Now you're asking all these questions 
we get to zero. Building science holds the answer. This much you now know. Yeah, the solar to Catalan show. Yeah, you're up all night in the studio. In an epic race to zero. Yeah, it's the solar to Catalan show. Brought to you by the DOE and the Solar Decathlon, the Solar Decathlon Show.